Hello Captains, welcome back to another episode. My name is Adam and this is Prepared version 4.3. We're in America and we are in Washington DC at the Ronald Reagan Airport of Kilo Delta Charlie Alpha. And what we're seeing is a rainy day for starters. <laughs> but what we're seeing is just the basic scenery. Um, this is what Orbex Global is giving us um, with the Terraflora trees. Uh, the airport is uh, Rex Airports HD textures um, and everything, all the goodness that they give us. Um, and it, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks okay. It's uh, got, I've got no complaints here, uh, apart from the raining weather, you know. So uh, let's head over um, to the plane and let's see what's what now frames let's see here I think I'm gonna need to bring down my because I'm getting like 20 it's really jumpy between 20 to 25 so I think my draw distance is gonna need to come down a little bit to uh, high let's try medium let's see if that helps um, so that, therefore, it's not going to load in as many objects in the background, like trees, buildings, stuff like that. They're going to load in as I fly to that area, which will help save the computer memory um, and help, hopefully, with the frames. Um, it may not, so let's just see what happens. There we go, yes, we've got now sort of 25, 30 steady frames which is good, which is what I'm happy with. So, let's take this sucker to the air, and let's see what we can see. Um, if I'm flying in a heavy populated area, I go with uh, a medium to high setting. If I'm uh, flying over uh, places that aren't populated with buildings, then I can ramp that up as high as I want, and still have that, oh gosh, the wind here is terrible and still have that performance um, because a smooth sim is all we want really isn't it a smooth flying experience right flaps up here we go keep it steady right so rex airport hd is giving us all what we see here with my traffic uh giving us the planes and i'm sure the uh airport itself has probably thrown in a few static ones who knows um the area we're flying here is uh, Washington DC, I believe. So we've got quite a few buildings. We're right in the center of it, right in the thick of it, by the looks of it. So we've got loads of buildings, loads of trees, loads of things to make the sim a bit laggy and a bit jumpy, really, isn't it? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up to 2,000 feet, uh, fly uh, you know, away from the airport, and then we'll have a look, we'll turn around, we're on a heading of north, so we'll head south after we hit 2000, and we will come back to the airport. Now, the add-on that I've got is from Dreswick Design, and it's Washington X, and I believe it's primarily for the area of the city and the airports. Um, it mentions the Ronald Reagan Airport, uh, in the first place, in the first most. So I'm guessing that it concentrates quite a lot on that. Um, oh gosh, oh gosh. You know what? I think we're going to have to stay at a thousand feet here. We're going to get clouds. What's their weather radar say here? For, uh, let's see here. It just, it's going to, sound's going to go off a little bit here. I'm just going to get the weather here. We've got clouds at a thousand feet. Oh, darn it. Right, well, we've got to stay below a thousand feet then, unfortunately. Otherwise, we can't see anything. Cause there's no point in doing a showcase in a, an area that you can't see. So we are heading down. Um, I hope a building doesn't come up uh, suddenly in our face. That'll be interesting. Right, here we are, a thousand feet. So we just maintain a thousand feet uh, for the purpose of this. It must be a very bad day in Washington at the moment. I always fly with live weather. I always feel that that makes it a bit more interesting. And it's about nine o'clock in the morning here, so uh, this is uh, 
This is what it would look like at 9 o'clock in the morning in Washington, I guess. So, what do we got in terms of texture? So, uh, well, we got some, like, uh, almost like photorealistic textures happening here. Um, I don't understand fully where they're from, because Orbex global base textures do not look like that. And that's primarily what we're going to be seeing here, is the uh, Orbex global base textures. Um, so, that's interesting. Trim this plane out a little bit. Um, so, yes, placement of everything. Uh, bridges kind of stick out against the terrain. We've got some uh, lovely golf course there, but then suddenly this massive dividing line. And then, oh gosh, a little bit more of that texture coming in. So it's like the textures aren't exactly placed like well. And that's kind of like Orbex's uh, issue there. Oh, there's the Pentagon. Oh, there we go. So there's a landmark there to see. With That'll probably be why we've got that uh, terrain mesh. That's the P3D default, probably, um, as this is like a military sim. They've modeled that one particularly. Um, now, let's have a look at the grass, because one thing I haven't installed yet is Dreswick Designs grass. So this grass down here, I believe, is Rex Airport HD's grass with uh, a Texture Direct add-on to it. Might even be Texture Direct, to be honest. Um, but the grass away from the airport, let's head over here. The grass away from the airport should be... Um, like kind of like default whatever it is uh, P3D I guess or global base Orbex global base grass which you can just about see here so we get a shot of it uh, there which is okay it's just like mm, here we go this will be a good one here uh, right here so there's the sort of default grass I'm guessing textures which is just okay you know so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna install Washington X scenery from Dreswick design here's some good grass here to fly over get a sense of what it is and then what I'm gonna do is also install the Dreswick design grass that they have as well and we're gonna fly this route again and we're gonna see how it changes now, I don't know if Dreswick Design Grass is installed in their sceneries anyway, but the Dreswick Design Grass will pretty much replace the global, I believe, grass everywhere. So whatever we see in the sim for Washington X is what we'll see everywhere else. And we'll also see how it improves or decreases our frame rates. Okay, so I shall see you in a mo. Hello Captains, welcome back to part 2 of the video where I have gone away and I've installed Washington X scenery and I've brought us back here to Washington X, let's uh, see how our frames are doing, pretty good, pretty good, um, not much has changed really uh, so far, like I can still see terraform trees here. Uh, the ground here has changed. The texture that that's changed. I don't know if I can remember seeing them there before. Uh, but the airport, the airport definitely has changed. We've got different planes now. We've got the buildings completely changed. It's bigger, bigger than ever before. Um, runway texture has changed. We've had a lot of changes in the sim. So. Let's take to the air. Uh, we'll fly out. Uh, we can't do uh, 2,000 feet, unfortunately. We have to do 1,000 feet because uh, of cloud coverage, sadly. Um, so we'll be at 1,000 feet. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy the, 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 the airport looks beautiful, and I think from the air it's going to look great. Uh, but also, we want to check out what that grass does. So... Right, flaps up. Let's check it out. So, oh, look at that building there. A lot of glass, a lot of planes, a lot of different types of planes now as well. We just kind of had American Airlines there, didn't we? 
Uh, there's one there that's called Trump. That's quite funny. Um, uh, buildings. There's loads more buildings now I can see there. Uh, they kind of weren't there before, and I believe the Pentagon is off to here, so I'll be interested to see how that's been replicated by uh, Dreswick Design. Um, textures here on the airport, the grass, that's different. Um, I'm also interested to see how they've handled their grass, so we can't go much higher now, so we shall bring it back a bit. There's the Pentagon outside of our window. I'd say it kind of looks the same, except for this area, the scenery around it, the road system. That's changed a lot. Um, but other than that, I would have to say that uh, it hasn't changed too much, the building. Um, but uh, it still looks great. So, let's turn around here. And uh, I can see that, say, buildings over there in the distance look great. There's the monuments. Everything's looking great. Um, frames really are kind of between 20 and 30. They're not steady, but they're not, uh, you know, um, jumping around too much either. Uh, road integration here now is a little bit better from when it goes to the bridge to the road. That, you can tell, has slightly been improved now, um, whereas before it was very jarring and stuck out a lot. Um, and off to the side there, we saw the Pentagon before. The airports. Now, let's do a flyby of the airports and check it out. Oh, hello, we've got a nice, lovely little yacht boat down there. That's pretty cool. Uh, here is the grass texture, um, which I've got to say looks like grass on this golf course. Now, of course, this could be just the... Uh, sceneries itself texture might not necessarily be Dreswick Designs grass um, and we won't really see that until we go to a different uh, location, different airport so let's check it out uh, loving the textures here coming in uh, lovely grass, lovely runway lovely, lovely everything really um Runways look pretty cool. Taxi markings look cool. Uh, I believe we came around the other, coming the other way, really, when we did a flyover. So let's uh, come out this way and fly around. Little uh, car park there with a few cars. There's no uh, burglar trying to steal anything through there. Right, let's uh, hightail it around here without crashing. Okay, lovely uh, hangars there with a few planes dotted around. Literally coming to land here. Right, so, here we are. Whoa, power's gone a bit. There we go. Um, so, looking very nice, very detailed, uh, airport here, everything's looking pretty cool. Um, there's the tower, I believe this is the sort of similar route we came last time. Let's not get too close, don't want to clip the wing there. The tower, hello tower, bye bye tower. Um, okay, so let's uh, head off now. Up to the skies. And let's see what that uh, little grassy knoll bit over here, there's a golf course, and how that's changed. Um, textures at this height uh, were pretty clear, I must say. Textures at this height aren't so... Oh, no, they are. They just came back into focus. Um, they, are, they are okay. Um, but we are pretty low. Let's uh, remember that. We're only at 600 feet off the ground. So um, it's not a very clear indication of what the textures will look like. Um, although I, I do, uh, I have my slider still set to medium. I haven't changed that. So here is the golf course that we flew over earlier. Now hopefully 
slow down a little bit without crashing, we should be able to see some difference if it loads in quick enough. Um, I, it doesn't actually look, I think, if this is what it is, which I don't think it is, uh, it doesn't look really any better than uh, what we saw before. But then again, we are only at 600 feet. But if they can get it better, Orbex texture, uh, the grass is 4K grass. Um, I don't know if Orbex grass is 4K or if any of their textures are 4K. Um, they probably don't display it at 4K. They probably display it at like uh, 2048, which is like less than 2K. Um, just simply for performance. And it'll still look good in a HD setup. So the grass I've got is 4K grass. So even on a HD setup, that would look pretty cool. Um, we go super slow we are. So let's fly over it again because it should have loaded a bit better now, if it will, and uh, we'll be able to see how good that grass is. Quite a lot of buildings out there. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, meh. Yeah. That's it, really. Meh. Yeah. Anyway. So. That is. Washington X. Frames have taken a hit. When we were first here, they were a lot smoother. Frames, but then again, we have got dodgy weather. You know, if, uh, we, if we didn't have dodgy weather, then uh, it would probably be a lot better. So, uh. Frames have definitely taken a hit because of that. So, there we go. Washington X. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep it flying.